All right, this is a Toshiba carrier thermostat. I'm gonna go through the controls with it to show you how to use it. And I'm gonna start off with the power button. This right here is the power button. This is how you turn the device off. As you can see, it's off right now. If I press it again, it will turn the uh, unit on to where I can make controls. Uh, the next steps that I'm gonna show you through are the F1 and the F2 buttons. Okay, as you can see right here, right here it shows the F1. It indicates that this is for mode. F2 indicates this is for fan speed. Now I'm gonna start off with the fan speed, all right? So if I press the F2, it changes the fan speed. As you can see, it's going down, all the way down to low. And then if you go all the way down, it goes to automatic, all right? And then press it again, it goes to high, and it starts the cycle all over again. So that's the fan speed with F2. Next, I'm gonna go with F1, all right? And you see right here, it says mode up here. I'm gonna press that, and you can switch right here. I just switched it to heat. Just press it again, it switches to dry. I'm guessing that that is to dehumidify the room. The next is cool, all right? And the, uh, the uh, next option is just the fan, just to get the air circulating in here. All right, I'll press it again, and it goes to audio. All right, we're gonna go to heat or actually cool. And then once I'm on here, you see right here is the temperature, okay? So to change the temperature, I'm going to go ahead and press this button. It raises the temperature for when it can, uh, uh, for how hot it has to be in order for the air conditioner to come on. And then right here, it lowers the temperature right here. And it goes the same way with the uh, heat. I can raise it to where it heats it up to this degree or lower it to where it won't turn on until it goes below that. All right, so I'm gonna go to auto really quick. All right, and so the auto feature, it automatically adjusts air conditioning or heater in the auto mode. All right, so that's the auto mode. Went through all that, went through the dry. So it dries the air right here. You can change that. All right, so that's the temperature, the fan speed, the heater, and the air conditioner. I'm gonna to go to some of the other controls. Right here, there's a little monitor right here, and it just shows right here, the set room temperature is at 72 degrees, indoor temperature is 72 degrees, outdoor temperature is 83 degrees, filter remaining hour, it is at zero. So that means it's time to replace the filter. The next is the total running hour. That's how many hours this unit has been ran. As you can see, it's 8,865. Now to get out of this, all you have to do is press the return key. And you see this little hook thing right here? This is the return key. So that gets you out of that. All right, so we're gonna go down to the menu. All right, so this is a menu. There's uh, th three pages in here. I'm gonna go through this right here is win direction. All right, so win direction. All right, so once you find a selection that you want, say for instance, wind direction, which we want, you see this right here, it says set, and it's right above F2. So I'm gonna go ahead and press F2, and it goes to the wind direction, and I can adjust the wind direction by pressing the up or down right here. As you see right here, it changes the wind direction. And when I'm done, it, it also has an option for the swing on, where you can swing, it swings automatically right there for this particular unit. Now to return, to get out of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and press that, and then I'm gonna go to individual louver. All right, so I'm gonna go there, and it's not a function on this particular unit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of that. Louver setting, no function on this particular unit right here, and there's an off reminder timer. So you can actually have this turn off after a select amount of time. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And right here it says off reminder timer, off and on. Currently it's off, but if I select it on by selecting the F1 right here for the switch, it is on. And then if I wanna go down to select timer settings, it's currently off, but if I wanna turn it on, you know, I go to how many minutes do I want it on before it turns off? I can adjust that right there. And when I'm done, I can just get out of here. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I do not want that selected. All right, so once I have that, I am going to get out of here. Next is a schedule timer. All right, you can go in here, you can schedule the timer that you want it on, the condition settings, the holiday settings, a lot of features in there. All right, so we're gonna go back. I'm not gonna spend too much time in that. And I'm just gonna go down, and now I'm on the second page. 
All right, there is a night operation. It doesn't work on this particular unit, so I'm gonna get out of that one. There's a filter sign reset, auto grill, energy saving mode, initial settings. Okay, you can take it back to initial settings. And I'm just gonna scroll through those. And it says ventilation, soft cooling, occupancy sensor, and information. There's a lot of uh, things in here. Uh, go in there, you can actually check out the model information. Go ahead and select that. It shows you the model right here, indoor model, yada, 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 all of this. A lot of different functions in here. Service information, go ahead and select that so you can see the service information. There's a telephone number you can get. I'm not gonna go through that. And that's pretty much how you operate the Toshiba Carrier thermostat. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.